What is up guys, David here. Welcome back to the long-awaited 100% official guide to Manos preparation, the Manos prices, everything you need to know about Manos that is going to be discussed in today's video. It's going to be a long one guys, so sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and let's hop into today's guide. One quick thing, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. So I'm going to be going down the line here. So I'll be starting with the blue prices and then I'll be naming the yellow prices. So for a pen, it will be 3.4 billion and then it will be 9.4 billion for the yellow versions. Tet will be 900 million and then it will be 2.3 billion. Try will be 300 million for the blues, 730 million for the yellows. Duo will be 150 million compared to 430 million for the yellows and then 74 million for the green prices. And then Pry, it will be 113 mil for the blues, 360 mil for the yellows, and 54 million for the greens. So let's move on to the tools. Again, blue, yellow, green. So blue at pen is 3 billion, yellow will be 4.3. Tet will be 840 million compared to a 1.2 bill. Tri will be 320 mil compared to 475. So both of those are fairly close in price. Uh, Duo will be 172 million, 330 million for yellow, and then 68 million for the green. And then Pry will be 120 million for blue, 290 million for yellow, 40 million for green. So those are the tools. Let's move on to the processing stones. So again, pen will be 3 billion and then yellow will be 4.3 billion. I don't have any other data on that for uh, the lower enhancement level. So you guys will just have to uh, just, it, it's a little bit of a teaser, I guess. So let's move on to accessories. So for accessories, the rings will be 6.1 billion for pen. It'll be 25 billion for yellows. At Tet, it'll be 2.4 billion. I don't have a price for the yellows, but I do have a price for the green, which will be 250 million. Try will be 450 million. Yellow is unconfirmed. And then 50 million for the green prices. Duo will be 110 mil, unconfirmed for the yellow prices, and then 12 mil for the green prices. And then Pry is 30 mil for the blue, unconfirmed again for the yellow, and then 3 mil for the green. So, uh, what I basically got from this was that Manos accessories, people don't really do them because they're super expensive. Um, so they essentially just do the blue versions. I say yellow as quote-unquote Manos, but we call them, everything is Manos. But uh, if I say Manos, I'm referring to the yellow versions. But So anyways, uh, basically people are going to be going with the blue versions because they're fairly cheap. So I do have a photo of the prices of the blue versions for you guys. So let me pull that up on the screen for you guys here. So right off the bat, we have 10 million silver for most of the tools and the stones. And then we have another photo here, and this is going to be showing the prices of the blue clothes that you guys can get and the blue accessories. So those are 10 million a pop each. So if you guys wanted to know what they looked like and what the names were and how much they were for the blue versions, there you guys go on the screen. So before I move on to anything else in this guide, this is going to be the new version of the life skill menu page, I guess. It's essentially going to be running over everything, telling you guys your max mastery so far that you have gained, and then it's going to tell you guys your bonuses when you do highlight the uh, specific life skill. So hopefully that enlightens a little bit for you guys. And then of course, here is a photo of the pen blue versions. And uh, as you guys can see here, there is no time reduction on here. So anybody that is saying that there's time reduction on life skill clothes, there is nothing uh, that does show that. So anyways, that's just to confirm everything. Let's move on to some more stuff. So let's move on to how to craft black crystal fragments, black crystals, and the concentrated black crystals. So black crystal fragments, so these can drop from mobs in Camasilvia or in Dragon, or you can gather for them. And by gathering, I mean you can gather some of the materials required to craft these items. So let's run over the various ways to craft the black crystal fragments. Again, don't worry, everything will be on the screen for you guys. One version would be the translucent crystals, bloody tree knot, deer blood, powder of darkness, and fire horn. So each one of these variations will require a fire horn, and they will also require a crystal, but there'll be different kinds of crystals, and there'll also be different kinds of blood. So that was the first version. The second version will be green crystals, 
Old Tree Barks, Weasel Blood, Powder of Earth, and Firehorn. Third version will be Mud Crystals, Spirit's Leaf, Fox Blood, Powder of Flame, and Firehorn. The fourth version will be Red Crystals, Monk's Branch, Pig's Blood, Powder of Crevice, Firehorn. And then last but not least, we have Polished Opals, Powder of Time, Wolf's Blood, Black Crystals, and Firehorn. So, so those are the five options for crafting the Black Crystal Fragments. To craft the Black Crystals, you will need one Black Crystal Fragment, one Weapon Stone, and one Armor Stone. To craft the Concentrated Black Crystals, and this is all through processing, it requires five Black Crystals, one Sharp, one Hard. So I mentioned that some of these items drop from mobs in Camsylvia or Dragon, but there are a certain Manos gear that drop from mobs. So I'm going to be naming those specific spots here for you guys. Number one, we have Abandoned Iron Mines. So Manos Craft Clothes of Energy drop from the mobs there. We have the Sulfur Mines, which drop the Lava Crafting Clothes. We have Polyus Forest that drops the Lake or the Wind Manos Crafting Clothes. And then we have the Dragon Red Wolves that drop the sun versions of the Manos clothes, and each one of those do different things. So it could be energy, could be processing, lava, could be gathering, stuff like that. So essentially, you guys have four different places to grind if you guys do want to go for the Manos gear drops. I have some special mentions for you guys. The patch notes specifically say that clothes can be safely enchanted without fail up to plus five. Accessories do break upon failing. When enhancing with Black Crystals, Fail Stacks and Valk's Cry will not affect the success rate. When the enhancement with Black Crystals fail, you will not get any Fail Stacks. When the enhancement with Black Crystals succeed, your Fail Stacks will not be reset to zero. Enhancements with Black Crystals have higher success rates than regular enhancements. So those are the special mentions. Uh, I don't know, it's gonna definitely going to be a little awkward or maybe a little bit different, or you never know, it might be a little bit more interesting to enhance Manos, but it's up to you guys. Let's move on to how to prepare for the rest of the Manos update. I forgot that the Black Crystals and the Concentrated Magical Black Crystals are created in Simple Alchemy. So I know I said it was in Processing, but I didn't specify which one. It is Simple Alchemy, just so you guys know. So let's move on to how to craft Manos accessories. Quick disclaimer, I am using Potion Shop's guide on this, so if you guys want to check him out, I will have his Twitch link down below. But without further ado, let's hop into how to craft the Manos accessories. So the belt is going to require Scorch Shards, Magical Shards, Manos, Pure Titanium Crystals, and Essence of Crimson Flame. So uh, it is definitely a little bit expensive. The Scorch Shards and the Magical Shards can be obtained from heating any black magic crystal that is yellow tier and those will give you the magical shards and then if you trade in a hundred imperial alchemy seals you will get the scorch shards from a daily quest from Lara in Hydale. the i think she is the general goods vendor so uh you guys will need to keep those imperial seals for the uh for the shards so that's just something a heads up if you guys don't do imperial alchemy i definitely get on that so moving on to the necklace, that's going to require Scorch Shard, Magical Shards, Manos, Pure Titanium Crystals, and Essence of the Sun. Uh, for the rings, they will require Scorch Shards, Magical Shards, Manos, Pure Vanadium Crystals, and Essence of Abundance. And then the, uh, the earrings will require Scorch Shards, Magical Shards, Manos, Pure Vanadium Crystals, and Essence of Enchantment. Manos can be purchased from any jewelry vendor, and again, like I mentioned, the pure vanadium crystals, titanium crystals can all be bought off the market, or they can be made with metal solvent yourself. It's up to you, whichever one you decide to choose. And the essences of abundance, sun, crimson flame, and enchantment can be created through alchemy. You will need the fruits though, and it is a very simple uh, recipe, so those can be found on Google. So. Uh, of course, do a little bit of homework, and this prep should be fairly simple to do. For those of you that don't want to go on Google and check up the recipe for the vanadium crystals and the titanium crystals, I will be the good guy here and let you guys know what the recipe is. The pure vanadium crystals will require vanadium ingots and metal solvents, and then you will process that through heating. And then the pure titanium crystals, you can get them from Rosar main hand weapons by melting them down, 
or you can craft titanium ingots along with metal solvents to create the pure titanium crystals. So those are your three options. And then of course, for some odd reason, if you guys are like, don't know the recipe for a metal solvent, it's clear liquid reagents, melted iron shards and rough stone along with trace of savagery. And that will create metal solvents. So there you guys go. Those are the three recipes. Let's move on to how to make essence of crimson flame and essence of the sun along with essence of abundance and essence of enchantment. Once again, for those of you that are lazy, here we go. Trace of Ascension, Ash Sap, Dwarf Mushrooms, Fruit of the Crimson Flame for obviously Essence of Crimson Flame, for Essence of the Sun, Trace of Earth, Pine Sap, Arrow Mushrooms, Fruit of the Sun, for Essence of Abundance, Trace of Ascension, Birch Sap, Cloud Mushrooms, Fruit of Abundance, and for Essence of Enchantment, Fruit of Enchantment, Fire Flake Flowers, Ash Sap, and Powder of Darkness. All right, so let's move on to crafting some of the clothes. So right off the bat, we have Mano Sailing Clothes. So to craft these clothes, you guys will need Daybreak Blue Corals, Ocean Sapphires, Manos, and Magical Shards. And the process to make Daybreak Blue Corals will be Corals, Sapphires, and the blue corals. Uh, if you guys craft blue corals, resplendent sapphire, that will create one daybreak blue coral. Of course, you guys can just buy the blue corals off the market if you guys do want to skip the entire coral sapphire uh, step. So the items you guys are going to need for the daybreak blue corals will be a blue coral and a resplendent sapphire. And this is obtained through heating. If you guys want to know how to make the blue corals, that will require corals and sapphires. So you could also melt down a blue coral ring for one daybreak blue coral. If you guys, I don't know, have a lot of money lying around and you guys don't want to go through every other step that I just mentioned, then blue coral rings will work just as well. And the resplendent sapphires plus gem polishers uh, through the shaking method will create the ocean sapphire. You can also melt down hesus accessories or the Scarlet necklaces. So it's up to you guys. Again, if you guys have silver lying around, then that's up to you guys. So as mentioned in the video previously, Manos can be obtained from a jewelerer and they do go for 5 million a pop. Considering you do need a lot of these, it will definitely put a little bit of hurt on your wallet. But again, if you guys are preparing for this ahead of time, I think you guys will be just fine and I think it will work out. The bonuses that the Sailing Mastery will give you guys will be a DP increase, acceleration increase, speed increase, turning increase, and a braking increase. So definitely some interesting bonuses. Let's move on to the fishing clothes. So you guys will need Tears of the Ocean, an Ocean Sapphire, Manos, and the Magical Shards. Magical Shards and Manos will be the base outliner for all of these clothes. So I'm just going to be naming uh, the first two different items. So the Tears of the Ocean can be obtained by trading in 100 Imperial Fishing Seals. And that is a daily quest obtained from Abilin. I already ran over how to make ocean sapphires. So the fishing mastery benefits go as follows. Grade of fish can increase, increased chance of getting treasure, and increased chance of treasure and money. And then uh, if you guys want to get into the Creo fishing chair, you guys, this is also something else you can use while you're fishing. You can craft them at tier three woodcraft workshops, and those require standardized timber squares, ash plywood, steel, monk's branch, trace of origin, plywood hardener, and that will create the Creo's fishing chair, which has 100 durability, and the durability decreases as you fish, so same thing as a fishing rod, and uh, equipping it will give you 100 fishing mastery. So definitely a little bit of a bonus, cool twist that they did on the uh, fishing master. So up next, we have the training clothes. Those will require twilight laden fabrics, Krogdalo's origin stone, and of course, Manos and magical shards. So to craft the twilight laden fabrics, you will need oil of fortitude, cotton fabric, and then you guys can use the shaking function, and then that will craft the twilight laden fabrics. Crafting the Krogdalo's origin stone is very simple. Swaying wind shards, rumbling earth shards, which are very bountiful on the market. You guys can just buy those, or you can just buy the Krogdalo stone itself. That is crafted through simple alchemy, so that's very simple, super basic. Not rocket science. Let's move on to the uh, Manos crop. So the Manos Manos crop is something that you can equip while horse training. So this is essentially the Crocodilo stone 
Supreme Hard Hides plus the Manos and the Magical Shards. If you guys have different kinds of the riding crops, uh, there are certain effects for it. So max auto pathing speed increased by 15% and the max running speed increased by 5% for the Logia riding crop. The Isaro riding crop gives you a 30% uh, auto path speed increase, a 10% running speed increase, and then the Manos riding crop uh, will give you a 50% auto pathing speed and then a 20% running speed so these are different tiers goes Logia is green Isaro is blue and Manos is yellow all right so for the hunting clothes you guys will need twilight laden fabric fire horn gold topazes Manos and magical shards I've already run over the twilight laden fabric if you guys forgot you can always go back and watch the video once more Firehorn can be obtained through gathering or hunting. So depending which one you guys do, it is a potential drop. Um, the gold topazes can be uh, obtained or crafted by rough topazes and then grinding those down into topazes and then grinding those topazes down into resplendent topazes. And then the uh, resplendent topazes can be shaked with the gem polishers to create the gold topazes or you can also uh, melt down the shrine guardian tokens if you guys don't want to go through every other step uh, the shrine guardian tokens that are heated and melted down work just as well again manos same thing magical shards same thing so the hunting mastery will give you a increased amount of drops of course the acquisition will increase the higher your hunting mastery though the better chance you can get at possible items so i will have a huge list of items for you guys on the screen i will not be running over this but essentially if you guys do a lot of hunting these items will be used to craft other things for hunting so definitely worth your time and uh, they also do give supreme hides which you guys can use for crafting more mano stuff so Let's move on to the processing clothes. These are the clothes that I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited for. Let's talk about it. So, how to craft them. Blood rubies, manos, sunset laden wool, and magical shards. So to make the blood rubies, you guys will need to grind down rough rubies into rubies into their splendid versions. To craft the gem polishers, you guys can take processed coal, pure powder reagent, purified water, and trace of origin. This is done in alchemy. And for the actual blood ruby, if you guys don't know how to make that, then you guys can take resplendent rubies and then put them together with the gem polishers. And then that will give you guys the blood ruby. So the sunset laden wool can be obtained with 100 imperial cuisine seals. So if you guys are not doing imperial cooking, uh, yeah, I would definitely get on that. Again, same daily goes to Lara in Heidel, the general goods vendor. Daily quest that she requires is to give her 100 dough and that could be at random, it's wheat, potato, sweet potato, barley, corn, whatever you name it. As long as it's 100 dough, she will accept it and then you guys can uh, get some sunset laden wool. Now let's move on to the cooking clothes. So the cooking clothes will require sleepy dawn fabric, indigo, lapis lazuli, and then an unknown item. I am not sure what it is. If anyone knows what that unknown item is, uh, for crafting cooking clothes, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I would very much appreciate it so I can update this. What we do know is that it is confirmed to be another daily quest in Hydel, so at least you guys have that. Uh, Sleepy Dawn fabric can be crafted with oil of storms, silk, and then that's basically through shaking, and then that's going to create the Sleepy Dawn fabric. And of course, everything else is the same as per usual for the Manos and the Magical Shards. The Indigo Lapis Lazuli is uh, grinding down the rough lapis into the normal lapis into the resplendent lapis. And then once you guys have the resplendent, you guys can take those and then shake them together with the gem polishers, and those will create the Indigo Lapis Lazuli. So that's that so the cooking mastery will give you a bonus at max procs and it will also give you a increased proc rate increased byproduct rate and an increased rare proc rate and we'll have again all this stuff on the screen for you guys to take a look and browse at your own leisure moving on to the alchemy clothes guys so to craft these you will need pure gold crystals another new fabric which we do not know of but we do know what it is required to craft it uh manos and essence of perfection uh, to craft the pure gold crystals you will need gold ingots metal solvent and that will be done through heating and then that's how you obtain the pure gold crystals and just as a quick refresher guys to create the metal solvents it's clear liquid reagents melted iron shards rough stones and a trace of savagery and that is done through alchemy so to obtain the new fabric it is xp elixirs 
and then cotton fabric, and then those are shook together, and that will create the new fabric. Again, we do not have a title for it, but if anyone knows, again, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, how to make Essence of Perfection, you will need Fruit of Perfection, Sunrise Herb, Maple Sap, and Powder of Flame. And again, that is done through Alchemy. So same thing for the bonuses for cooking as go for Alchemy. So another big one that I'm sure a lot of you guys are ready for would be the Manos Gathering Clothes. So how to craft those will be the Twilight Laden Fabric, Manos, Moonlight Opal, and Magical Shards. I basically ran through the Twilight Laden Fabric and the uh, Magical Shards and Manos for you guys. So again, not going to be doing that. Essentially, you're going to need rough opals, heat them down to polished opals, and then heat those down to brilliant opals and then you will take the brilliant opal smash them with the gem polishers in the shaking function and that will create the moonlight opals for you guys i'm sure if you guys have crafted the manos golden coral belt then you guys will know how to craft these things uh, for those of you that have not ever crafted Oil of Fortitude, the recipe is essentially Clown's Blood, Monk's Branch, Fruit of Nature, and Powder of Flame. And again, that is done through alchemy. So hopefully you guys got all of that and you guys are still with me. The bonuses to the gathering will be the normal proc rate will be increased, the rare proc, and the special proc will be increased. So your sharps, hards, your base materials, your regular materials, and then your rare materials will all increase uh, as long as you guys increase the gathering mastery life skill so uh we got a couple more things that we're going to run over and then we're going to be wrapping up this video here but let's talk about the manos processing stones you guys will need quite a few things because there are certain stones for different things so we're going to be running down the line here starting with filtering that will require star diamonds gem polishers manos and magical shards all of these processing stones will require manos and magical shards uh, so shaking will require ocean sapphire and gem polishers. The grinding version will require forced emerald and gem polishers. The chopping version will require moonlight opals, gem polishers. Drying version will require gold topaz and the gem polisher. And then the heating version will require blood ruby and the gem polisher. I don't know why I said uh, gem polisher like the, the entire time. That's basically the same for all these stones. Those of you that are curious about how to craft the gemstones, I've already ran through this in this video, but uh, I don't think we ran through the star diamonds. So those are basically resplendent diamonds uh, shook together with the gem polish. All right, so let's hop into the Manos gathering tools. So to craft these, you guys will need magical shards and the metal solvents along with the Manos but everything else is going to be different. So for the Manos hoe, you will need Shining Steel hoe. For the Lumbering Axe, you will need the Shining Steel Lumbering Axe. For the Fluid Collector, Shining Fluid Collector. For the Steel Tanning Knife, same thing. For the Butchering Knife, same thing. And the Pickaxe, same thing. I, I don't have to repeat that, guys. I'm sure you guys are well aware. Uh, you know, if it says Tanning Knife, you're obviously going to require a tanning knife. I'm not going to be running over how to make the shining tools, but you will need a level three tool workshop. If you guys want to know the recipes for the shining tools, I will have a photo posted on the screen for you guys here. And you guys can just pause the video and just take a look at that and jot it down or whatever, write notes down. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to some of the important questions that you guys I'm sure will be asking about. And that will be the enhancing success rate for these items. So green accessories at Pry will be a 70% chance, at Duo it'll be a 40% chance, at Tri it'll be a 30%, at Tet it'll be a 20, and then at Pen it'll be a 10. For the blue versions it will be 70% for Pry, 45% for Duo, 30% uh, for Tri, and then Tet will be 18%. As you guys can see by this photo here, green accessories will require the black crystals, but the blue versions and the yellow versions will require the concentrated versions. And as you guys can tell, the blue versions and the yellow versions will require a lot and they will be very expensive, especially considering they do blow up. So uh, looking at Pry, 75% chance, but you do require 10 concentrated stones for one attempt. And if it blows up, then it is gone. So I do have the enhancement rates for the mastery clothes unfortunately the blue clothes section is uncompleted so we will not be running over that so for the green versions and the yellow versions you guys can just pause the video here quickly and take a look at these enhancement rates and then while you guys are doing that i think i'm going to be wrapping up the video here that is all for today 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide. I know it was a little bit fast, but I didn't want to keep you guys here too long for like an hour. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and let me know what you guys think down below if you guys made it this far. And uh, yeah, just start preparing if you guys are ready to get into Manos. If not, just stick with whatever you guys have. I do want to say a disclaimer that uh, the silver embroidered clothes will still be useful. So do not throw those away. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. I think that's all she wrote. So uh, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Peace out.